What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering. And if you remember a few months back, there was this bizarre program uh, called Reimagine Tomorrow that was running at Disney that received immense backlash. So much so that Disney scrubbed their entire website of all mentions of it after it was related or attached to you know, CRT stuff and a bunch of other bizarre uh, things that really Disney shouldn't be involving themselves with. Well, I've got great news for you. Disney has quietly rolled that back out. In fact, they tweeted out this morning and had subsequently getting absolutely destroyed. As storytellers at Disney, we have a responsibility to reflect our audiences in our content and experiences. So we're more committed than ever to making it a reality. Uh, they put this out, you know, quietly under cover of night. Let's just take a look at some of the replies. Aren't storytellers supposed to be telling stories, not reflecting audience experiences? Uh, this you showing the obvious uh, hilarity of the uh, Western version of The Force Awakens poster with a prominent John Boyega. And then the Chinese version of the very same poster where John Boyega is tiny, hidden amongst the uh i don't know the blue side of the poster and his skin appears to be lightened because what disney is saying here quite quite honestly is we value money over representation because uh, people in china don't like black people so we hide them smaller in our posters uh you can see let's not forget about the openly gay couple in star wars that just turned out to be one scene with two background characters kissing which was removed in china anyway we could see Disney criticized for filming in Mulan, China's Xinjiang province. That is, of course, right across the street from the active uh, camps full of Uyghur Muslims. And then you see, is that why you shrunk John Boyega on the Chinese Star Wars poster or edit out the lesbian kiss? Don't forget Black Panther poster where they covered his face with a mask. Every transgression that Disney has ever made uh, getting put underneath this post. Disney stop making LGBTQ stuff easily censorable for foreign markets challenge. Disney under fire for Mulan credits that think Chinese group linked to the Xinjiang camps. Are there any more redhead characters left at this point? Uh, you just every single solitary reply in here is absolutely dunking on them of course they have you know the quote tweets are even more hilarious if you look at that i, mean, I don't know why they even engage in this you see right this coming from a company that chose to ignore the uyghurs plights to make a remake continues filming in states that do not support women's health rights and will give hong kong and taiwan the finger if it means earning money from china diverse enough to gain some brownie points but not a lot so in china so give us money you can see cynical reviews. Well, why don't you tell the story of the Uyghurs in China? Oh, wait. You can see Disney under fire for filming Chinese region where Uyghurs are detained. I mean, every you know, if you want to reflect the audience, why do you pander to 12%? You can see this you, Disney, just everybody absolutely dunking on them. Disney moves via, this is via Bounding into Comics, moves forward with Reimagine Tomorrow campaign despite being exposed as a part of the racist critical race theory movement. The Walt Disney Company decided to move forward with the Reimagine Tomorrow campaign despite it being exposed as part of an anti-white movement, more commonly known as critical race theory. According to documents obtained by journalist Christopher F. Rufo and published in May, Disney's Reimagine Tomorrow campaign included training on systemic racism, white privilege, white fragility, white saviors, microaggressions, and anti-racism. In the documents, Disney claims that, you know, talks about all of the, you know, Brianna and Ahmed Aubrey and all these people, uh, they're all long history of systemic racism and phobia. The documents also instruct white and non-black people to examine and work through feelings of <clears throat> guilt, shame, and defensiveness to understand what is beneath them and what needs to be healed. Essentially, you have this thing, uh, this original sin of whiteness and privilege, and there is no overcoming that, and that you shouldn't even try and refute it. You should just accept the fact that you're damaged goods and you're awful, and, um, and then learn to grow. It also instructs them to, quote, 
not question or debate black colleagues' lived experiences, of course. Instead, white and non-black people should, quote, acknowledge and listen with empathy when black colleagues share their lived experiences. Well, I don't know about you, but this is America, and I have the right to not give a damn about my coworkers' lived experiences, regardless of the color of their skin. The fact that they're black doesn't mean they're any more important or any more likely to be telling the truth. It's absurd. One of the most one of the modules titled What Can I Do About Racism even implies that employees should reject equality in favor of equity. This is one of the slimiest kind of weasel word replacements we're seeing a lot in 2020 and 2021, where equity is is what this this kind of gerrymandered or like eh, that's not the best word for it but it's this like <clears throat> rigged outcome essentially it's a rigged outcome that worries more about superficial things superficial things like somebody's skin color diversity of skin color not diversity of thought these are things that disney is interested in it states that equality is a noble goal Equal treatment and access to opportunities help each of us perform our best within a shared set of parameters. But we really need to be striving for equity, where we focus on the equality of the outcome, not the equality of the experience, by taking individual needs and skills into account. Are you joking? <clears throat> this is one of the most hilarious, like, the idea that it doesn't matter what somebody's personal accomplishments are or who they are, but just the skin color and they all be seen as equal in the end. Now, that's great in like life when you're acting with interacting with people. Yes, you should be treating everybody the same regardless of their skin color. Um, but when you're talking about hiring, um, you know, skills matter, whether or not they can do the job matters. Equity is how you get garbage employees. It's how you get a, a worse product in most cases because the, this idea lives in a vacuum where everybody has exactly the same skill set. And so you can just pick somebody with a different skin color or different eyes or, or a different, um, they were born in a different country and you get the exact same outcome. That's not how reality works. Following Rufo's reporting on these documents in May, Disney responded with a statement that read, these internal documents are being deliberately distorted as reflective of company policy when in fact their purpose was to allow diversity through and discussion on an incredibly complex and challenging issues of race and discrimination that we as a society and companies nationwide are facing. Again, I don't know why Disney thinks that's their job, but here we are. They added that Disney has a long history of inclusivity. Mm, no, they don't. Which story with stories that reflect acceptance, tolerance, and celebrate people's differences? Yeah, you know, would it be like how you used uh, that that old racist trope of the crows uh, as black folks? Was that inclusive? As we have constantly demonstrated in popular fil films, as Moana, Coco, Black Panther. Why was Black Panther inclusive? Just because it was a black ethno state? I don't think that. Black Panther was exactly inclusive. It was more like exclusive. Let's see the here nor there. By the way, no problem with Black Panther. It's a, an excitingly average movie, just like all Marvel movies. Soul and Rey on The Last Dragon. And as a global entertainment company, we're committed to continuing to tell the stories. Rufo would then report in May that multiple sources told me that Disney has completely removed the diversity and inclusion program from the company's website, effectively scrubbing it out of existence. He would go on to claim Disney was peddling the most toxic elements of critical race theory, and my reporting led to immediate changes within the company. And I would agree with that. While Rufo made the claim of the alleged removal of diversity and inclusion program a major victory, Disney has just launched their Reimagined Tomorrow campaign with a brand new video. As you can see in the trailer above, Disney implies that the young black kid is seen as a criminal, an elderly Middle Eastern man seen as a foreigner, and a woman in a leadership role is bossy. The trailer concludes that Disney commits today to showing the magic in every life. However, when you go to the Reimagine Tomorrow website, it says specifically, Reimagine Tomorrow is our way of amplifying underrepresented voices and untold stories, as well as championing the importance of accurate representation in media and entertainment. Okay, 
If you look at the section of the website labeled Our Intentions, they clearly state that by 2022, 50% of regular and reoccurring characters across Disney General Entertainment scripted content will become will come from underrepresented groups. Well, that's not an accurate representation, is it? It's a clear sign that it is not to show the magic in every life, but for whatever Disney defines as underrepresented groups. And while Rufo claims that the trainings were deleted, it's not hard to imagine that the entire campaign was built on the underlying racist ideas those trainings conveyed. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm glad that Disney spends money like this and stuff like this and not keeping their parks affordable for middle class people. Uh, why don't you take a look, walk around Disney Park and see how many of these underrepresented people can afford to go there and then ask yourself how much Disney really cares. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.